Well guys, today I didn't even realize that this was happening, but they are revealing some of the Emerald City Comic Con Funko Pops, so let's talk about it and let's get started. Alright guys, so this year Funko just kind of sprung this on us, and I don't actually know, maybe I missed it somewhere, I probably did, um, but they actually revealed like about four or five different things today, so we're going to be going through them, and it's not the entire figure, well I'll, I'll show you guys what I mean in a second, but it's a little bit different than normal. Well actually, if you're new around here and don't know what Emerald City Comic Con is, it's a convention that Funko goes to every year, and they have exclusives that only go to Emerald City Comic Con, so that's what they're kind of revealing today in a bit of a different way. And you're able to purchase these figures if you go to the respectable store or if you win the Funko Lottery for Funko.com. And if you guys don't know what that is, we'll go over it a little bit later. So now here is the first, I guess, leak. They're leaking their own stuff, which is kind of weird, but this is all we get. It just says confidential, and then it shows two heads down there. Now, I'm reading the comments on their Instagram post, and some people are saying Funko Sodas. Um, another person says Matthew Patel. I don't know who that is. Possibly from Scott Pilgrim, maybe? I'm not too sure. Uh, Scott Pilgrim x Matthew with Demon Chase Soda, possibly? I don't know. All we really have is a little bit of the skin tone as well as the haircut, and there's not much else here. And you know what, guys? Really quick, let me look up who Matthew Patel is, or at least what he looks like from Scott Pilgrim. And oh, okay. You know what? They did make one a while ago of... Who is this here? They made a two-pack of Matthew Patel and Demon Chick. Maybe that's who it is? Two sodas of them? That could be cool. Because there are two of them here, and if you look in the bottom right corner, I thought that was hair, but it's actually like a gray skin tone, so that's probably what it is. All right, now next up, Funko actually teased this right here, and a lot of people are saying different things about this. Now, I actually kind of have a pretty good hint of what this is, because a lot of people have been saying this one's possibly coming. So this one is probably the Caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland. Now, this one, if it is, would be an amazing pop, and I would definitely pick it up. And also, they're doing a lot of Alice in Wonderland pops, like, recently. I think there was a whole new wave that was just announced for Funko Fair, so I'm not surprised if they are doing the caterpillar here but also he's got that same kind of like slump on his head if you guys know what I mean where his hair kind of or not hair he's a caterpillar he doesn't really have hair but like that kind of like uh, flap of whatever kind of humped over a bit whatever his head is his head kind of humps over like that and that's what this is doing right here so I'm guessing it is the caterpillar now I'm reading through this here and a lot of people are going back and forth between the Caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland and a Smurf, but somebody did say here that Smurfs actually have white hats and not blue ones, so it's probably the Caterpillar. Now this next one here a lot of people are saying is an anime figure. I do see a lot of people saying My Hero Academia as well, and the one that I'm seeing here a lot is Nezri Hado, I believe is how you pronounce it, sorry if I got that wrong, but I did look her up and she has the exact same kind of like twirling hair that goes into two horns, so I'm guessing that's probably who it is. And I did ask Noah about this one, and when I said My Hero Academia, he pulled up that exact character right away, so that's probably who's going to be coming. And that is a great one, because that is a brand new character that they've never made before as a pop. And now this next one here is a little bit of a weird one. This one here just looks like braided hair with kind of like a green skin tone, and I really had no clue when I first saw this one. But some people in the comments were saying that this could be Kirigan Dwight, and if you guys don't remember this one, this is when he dressed up as Kirigan for Halloween one year, and then Toby made him take all of the pointy stuff off of his suit, and he said it wasn't as good. So if that is what it is, I hope it is that character, because that would be a really great addition to the Office collection. And now this next one that we have here, guys, is actually one that's not like a confidential photo. This is actually just a full glam shot of the characters, and these ones here are Billy and Tommy from WandaVision. Now, these two here look great. I think they honestly have some really great sculpts, especially with the amount of detail that they put into these characters. Now, these guys are actually from the newest episode, the Halloween episode, and I actually haven't seen that one yet, so I do need to watch that before these ones come out, so that way I can get the characters and know all about them. And now, guys, this last one that we have here is another confidential figure, where they're only showing off the top of it here, and we have a bunch of different ones here. Some people are saying more from Big Mouth, someone said another Chewbacca, someone said just Beast in general, so probably from Beauty and the Beast. We also have, I feel like it's Flash, 100 Yard Dash from Zootopia. We've already gotten a Flash figure, and he's a little bit of a darker kind of gray color. Now, someone said E.T., Chewbacca, and then Bigfoot. Now, Bigfoot would make sense. They have made a bunch of different Bigfoots before, but possibly a new one coming, because Emerald City Comic Con does take place in Seattle, and that's where a lot of people say they do find Bigfoot or Sasquatches. So I'm not sure who that could be, but that is all of the stuff that they've revealed for today as well as kind of like confidentially leaked. So now before we get out of here let's actually go through how you can purchase these characters because I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to want to know how. So Funko actually put up an article on their blog and it'll be linked in the description down below because I'm going to try to hit the main points but I'm not going to be going through everything today. So the first thing it says here is how do I qualify to get a chance at a lottery spot and it says you need to go to Funko.com and be a member of the Funko fan club.
Club by February 14th, 2021 at 11.59 p.m. And now how do you know if you are a Funko Fan Club member? All you have to do, guys, is really just make an account on their website. Then at the top where you would go to your settings, it'll have a banner that says you want to actually join the Funko Fan Club. And that's how you do that. And now guys, make sure you do click on that banner because just making the account isn't enough to actually become a Funko Fan Club member. You have to click on the banner as well. And the reason they're doing this, guys, is because there's been a lot of problems with bots in the past, so they try to make it a couple clicks instead of just one, so it's a little bit harder for people to actually put their bots into the system. And if you want to find out if you did win a lottery spot for Emerald City Comic Con, make sure that you can get into the email that you use for your Funko Fan Club account, because they're going to be notifying you through there. And so Funko will email you either one of two times, and they do allocate the rarer figures to some of each lottery spot, so don't worry about it. If you're in the second lottery, you will still have a chance to get those rare figures. And if you don't get into the lottery, it says here, share retail exclusives will be available to the public at 6 a.m. PST on March 4th on Funko.com and through the respective sites and stores. So that's places like Box Lunch, Hot Topic, EB Games. They'll actually come up with a list closer to the con, but for now, just try to remember those stores. And well, guys, there you go. That is some reveals for today, as well as how to get into the Emerald City Comic Con Lottery. But before we get out of here, let's spin the wheel. All right, guys, now because we were talking about Emerald City Comic Con all day, maybe we'll land on a green spot today. I don't know. Here we go. Green, 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 green. No, we were two off. But we did get ad icons, and I like ad icons. So let me grab one. Ad icons, ad icons, ad icons, ad icons. Okay, so for today's ad icon, I chose a great one. This is one of my favorites. and has to be one of the most detailed. And this one here is the Morton Salt Girl. Now, this figure here just has so much detail, and I love this thing. The umbrella looks great. The salt pouring out of the back is amazing. And this one right here, really does have some great detail to it, especially because they did give the salt kind of this little bubbly look. And it doesn't look exactly like salt, but it looks more like the logo because it's hard to do little grains kind of just falling down like it is in the actual logo. But I think Funko really did a great job with it. And now there is also a Diamond Edition version, which I believe I have somewhere. I don't know where it is. It was a Box Lunch exclusive. Uh, maybe I don't have it, but I swear I do. Anyways, let me show this one off a little bit closer up because look at how amazing this character is right here. I love the yellow on this one, especially with the white. The two of those go together really well. Now, this is kind of boring on the back, but I think from the front, it really does look amazing. And you're not really looking at it from the back, you're looking at it from the front. So this right here is one of my favorite ad icons. And I know, guys, this is really just a salt company, but the figure turned out amazing. And I hope that Funko continues to do stuff like this, because really, they keep killing it with their ad icons. Also, one of you guys are going to have to let me know in the comment section below if I do have the Diamond Edition, because I don't see it in the front and now it's gonna bug me. But well, anyways, guys, that is the pop of the day, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops, Popsters. Thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Dripping like a school. On a four with school. Maybe gonna school. She funny with it. Funny with it. Cool. Five, four, thump. I'm a hump on a bounce, Jack and Jill up a hill. Baby trying to get a meal. Mary had a little lamb. I really do not fuck with that. She calling me the muffin man. I surely like the muffin top. Snow, hey. lemma lasses.